guys, welcome back to another video. We're back on the Rambo bikes. We got Martin right behind me. But uh, I'll make it short and sweet because I know the audio is not the greatest when this thing's going. But I just want to say welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to go set a couple trail cams, check things out up here in the high country, and actually spread out a little bit, try to get some cameras in some new areas where uh, I have an archery tag for this year. Anyways, welcome back and happy 4th of July. Dude. We're almost to where we're gonna stop guys and then we're gonna do a little push up the canyon and hike But uh, it's been a fun morning riding these dang things. Now we're just gonna walk the Bikes off the trail a little bit and stash them up here I always got to make sure I have my trail camera keys got the master lock for the bike lock It's like you got to pack all this stuff around. I guess you don't have to but I've had cameras stolen and Last thing I want to do is get to the bike and have them gone. So, we lock them up. Starting out with a little mountain ops. Alright, so I got the cameras. Martin's got some critter lick. We're going to bomb up here to where... A buddy of mine says he's got a tree stand up here that he thought I should look into. So we got to work this bottom and get up on this big face. I've never been to a stand. He said I can sit it this year because he didn't draw the tag. So if we can find it, we're going to set up some critter lick and a stealth cam to see if it produces any shooter bucks. Now this is where it gets steep. <laughs> but uh, like I was saying on the bike, I don't know how good you guys can hear me, but just a gorgeous day. It's July 4th. At this point, up on this unit, both Martin and I kind of have our main zones. Cammed, fresh batteries, new salt. And so this is kind of a new spot for myself. Hunted here a little last year, but like I said, there's a tree stand up here. And if we can find it, goal number one is to set a trail camera right on the tree stand. So if it does produce, I have a place to hunt. We would have to hang a second one if we're gonna have like a camera guy. Find the tree stand, that'd be the first goal. <laughs> And then after that, we'll have an extra camera. Where should we put it? We got a couple spots where we could see where we've seen deer before. Pinch and funnel uh, work in this point. So I think we'll be able to find like a good patch of pine. I kind of favor the timber myself. Yeah, where they hang out most of the day. Uh-huh. Get daytime pictures. That's kind of always my goal is when I'm setting cameras, in the back of my head, I know not every one of them is going to be like a hunting opportunity. A lot of them are main purpose is just to scout, take inventory on what's there. But there's certain ones where I'm like, okay, if this does produce daylight activity, you know, consistently, where can I set the camera and the salt up to where I can hang a tree stand somewhere close by? By the way, just so you guys know, baiting and hunting over bait is legal in Utah. I know it's a subject where not everyone's gonna agree on that, but what is the rules in your states? I've been looking into hunting other states and hunting some whitetail states and clearly some states you cannot hunt over bait some states you can't put out bait with intent to hunt over it or like coming to and from it so where you hunt or the state you live in what's the rules So much work to get all the shots. Well, we found it. It's uh, he kind of told me it's not really a stand, but more of just a platform. You see, this one's actually built in, like legit. Look at these giant, like railroad tie nails or whatever, and then a small two by four or two by six platform. So I'm gonna get up in there. It looks like somewhere you definitely just wanna stand. Really your main shot opportunity is right behind us. So I'm gonna go up there and see what it looks like. Yeah, well those are nice and tight.
Definitely a good shot opportunity for a right-handed person going downhill. There's a trail right below me that runs right past the tree stand. As a lefty, if I was to stand that way, I would be facing uphill, which there's not a main trail, but there's some nice open stuff to, for them to feed on. We made it to the tree stand, and now we're gonna take a quick break. Martin was over there when I was doing these, and I don't think he got to taste them when they were done, but just made these uh, mule deer snack sticks on the Camp Chef. <laughs> Dude. They're freaking good, man. Yeah, so I said I've got all the details that are on the video that are on the channel. This is pure mule deer, no fat added. It's burger that I ground myself. I did a really good job of trimming off like the, the fat and all the connective tissues. So it's literally like pure protein, seasoned. But we're gonna get out the stealth cam, the locks. I gotta trim a couple branches up here, but we're gonna set up a nice critter lick station right on the steep side hill. We have to dig out like a nice flat spot. So this will be zone for uh, cam number one. All right guys, here's what we got set up is Martin's dug out a couple kind of platform ditches for the critter lick and then I've been working on the stealth cam up here so I'm gonna give you a couple tips some things that have helped me over the years and uh, just some advice for you guys who are wanting to get into trail cameras first thing is when you're setting up a box or any trail camera for that matter it's really a good idea to test your shots so what we do is we kind of set it up as we thought it would be good and then we just got to work so now we can check the last few photos and see if it's got the perfect frame the perfect angle and if there's any brush that we need to get rid of which there's probably a little bit more we could chop down just so these brush limbs aren't triggering the camera when it's windy and this is an apple brand sd card reader for the iphone works really good easy and simple stealth cam also has sd card readers but i don't have the app all right so for example this is a a photo that was taken right when we were working on the little ditches so you can see where we have the ditches and you can see the mule deer trail is down here below right where i'm standing so that's a good level if their head is down into the salt their antlers are still going to be in the picture but if they're on the main trail which is most likely where they're going to be standing why they you know eat the critter like and why they travel through so that seems to be a really good angle now that i've got this screwed in we are going to use a master lock to secure it to the tree all right so this is a python lock they sell these on the stealth cam website too definitely recommend them for any trail camera setup but uh, they're especially great for the box you're always left with a bunch of keys when you're running a lot of cameras like we run so i have a ton of these little master lock keys this is going to be a helpful tip for some of you guys probably this key got a number on it p769 what i do to help keep track of which key is which is I will drop a pin on Onyx map, I'll save it, and then in the notes you go to edit, and then you can just save the number of the key right to that pin. It's been super helpful. So every time I go to check cameras and I have a whole thing of keys like I showed you guys, I just pull up my Onyx, pull up exactly where I'm at, and that pin has the key number in it. Another helpful tip, once you go to the icon, you can edit it. Again, I'm gonna put in the notes, I'm gonna put P769, and I'm actually gonna change this trail cam icon to a baby blue that way i know um, baby blue is everything i put out this year anyways helpful tip use your onyx uh, when you're setting up your trail cams i'm going to format the card before we leave so it deletes the sd card and it formats to be in the right format to work correctly with that camera a lot of people switch their sd cards from like a canon to a sony to a stealth cam and eventually that card may malfunction it's always good to format the card guessing this is going to get a lot of activity so two photo bursts with a one minute delay 14 megapixels on the camera setting it's going to be working 24 7. i'm just going to throw this in here it is set up now i'm going to wrap the python lock around it and we're going to pour some critter lick and we're done here All right, guys, camera number one is set up. Feeling pretty good about it. We've got some critter lick on it. We got to cross and traverse through these dark timber up and over because there's a really good saddle we want to set up the next camera on. We'll look for like a main game trail and probably set it up on a trail. Maybe pour another bag of critter lick out. We got some good trails 
uh, right here through this dark timber. You could see that some deer have bombed down there. There's tracks right here before Martin's tracks. Right above us, if you guys can see this opening, a lot of deer funnel off of here. Martin's watched a ton of deer just kind of work through those rocks. Getting camera number two ready. Get some screws. This is the DKS. What is it called? DS4K. DS4K by Stealth Cam. We're thinking we're gonna get these bucks coming right down the main trail, stopping to get some salt where Martin's digging out a nice shelf. So I'm gonna set that up somewhere about right there and we're gonna have to actually tilt it up a little bit. Again, you always wanna test your pictures. So this is just a test round. Let that take pictures while we go pour the critter lick. Guys, my buddy Scott owns this company, Critter Lick. They sell this stuff direct to consumer on their website. I think it's critterlick.com. I've had great luck with this stuff, so we uh, love using it. But yeah, it always recommends to dig out like a, I don't know, like a three by three foot square, or two by three foot square, create a nice little shelf. When it rains and stuff, this stuff will actually seep into the dirt and the deer will actually work really hard to get it out for a long time. And yeah, like Martin's doing, I don't mind even just kind of making them work for it a little bit more and spreading it out. But we got a really good game trail coming off of that saddle above. And I think this is going to be a good spot right here. Let's uh, check the card and see how it turned out. All right, it was up there for a couple minutes. Long enough to take some photos to give us an idea of what the field of view looks like. Come on, come on. So let's see. All right, we've got the whole shelf. So if any deer's head is feeding in here, everything will be perfect. We've got enough of the main trail that if they're coming down it, it'll capture them. It'll capture this trail most likely. And then of course, anything going past. So I'd say that looks pretty dang good. What do you think, Martin? Yeah, perfect for deer. If this produces, it could be a good spot for an ambush, maybe post up on the, the saddle that they're crossing, maybe even a tree stand. Time to blow this joint, guys. We got two cameras up. I'm gonna start our little hike out of here. Probably stop for a snack break, maybe some lunch. And then we'll cruise the bikes out. But uh, it's good to get that done. It's nice to have Martin up here to help me. Not only film, but help set up. Good job, thanks for your help. Yeah, something's gonna be rolling in here, guys. I promise. We got the camera set up. We've got the critter lick. Now we're gonna bomb out of here. I know I've asked you guys in this before when I did some shed hunting and some four-wheeler driving, but do you guys like the GoPro point of view? Let me know. All right, we made it back to the bikes. Good news is they're still here. Doesn't look like they've been tampered with. Gonna sit down, eat some lunch. I got a Jack Lynx <laughs> uh, jerky stick. We're gonna do a taste test with Jack Lynx. And the homemade version. I have like mixed flavors. Okay. In here, I have sweet and spicy, and I also have mandarin teriyaki. And until you eat it, you kind of have to decide which one it is. I think this is mandarin teriyaki. Jack Link's first. Okay, I'll go opposite. Texture, texture, moisture, everything. A lot more, a lot of moisture. Very kind, almost a little slimy feeling. Juicy in the center, and you have this type of paper the casing. around it, the casing. Now if the mule deer. Better mm, flavor. Dun, dun, dun. Really? A little more of a wild taste to it, but not like the gamey flavor a lot of people are have mixed feelings on. Not as slimy, which I like. The slimy kind of grosses me out. Uh -huh. And uh, the casing is No there. casing. Yeah, so I did do a batch with casing and then I did a batch without. This is the first time I've ever done them without and honestly, I'm pretty happy about it. And it almost saved a little bit of time, um, you know, having to do that. You just squirt them right onto the rack. So yes, this is mule deer, no fat added. This is, who knows, beef with probably a good portion of things you may not want to know is in there. <laughs> It's, Almost like an oily. It's huh? good, but like I think it might even be the casing that makes it feel oily. Well, they have their pros and cons. They're both dang good, but and they're both dang good. They would both be better with a pepper jack cheese stick. I know that. And they're both probably gonna be better with a Ritz. I'm gonna get some out 
But yeah, guys, go check out our video on the homemade snack sticks. I think you'll love them, especially if you like a Slim Jim or a Jack Links, this type of stuff. But yeah, both are dang good. I mean, to even compare to something like that, you know, it's good. I do like the dryer. I don't know if it's because that's what I've eaten more now, but this is almost like, is that raw? And it's just cool to know, like, if you're up in the mountain, you're eating, like, the mule deer that came off of mm -hmm. the mountain or whitetail or whatever it is you're eating. That's true. That's always the goal, guys. You guys see that we do a lot of cooking videos and put our wild, wild game to use. But we are going to snack for a bit. I got my Mountain Ops Lemonade Ignite in my Go Hunt bottle, which is cool. Make sure you check out the Go Hunt free 30-day trial that's going on right now. Information in the description box. Again, discount codes for Stealth Cam, 30% off in the description box. Just check out the description box if you want to know any of our discount codes or links to our partner um, programs that are going on. But we're going to hydrate, snack up, and uh, get out of here. Well, we are hydrated and refueled. But uh, before we hop on the bikes, I want to show you some pictures from martin's stealth camera that we checked on the way down we made a quick stop on a couple of them look at the content he's pulling off of these things already that's gonna be a nice one yeah good boxy four bobcat yeah bobcat that's cool bobcat dang bull elk with a devil tine that's pretty sweet the whole herd Look at all the calves, a couple calves over there to the left. So that's a cool shot. All bucks? Yep. Yeah. Little two points and then a couple four points. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Got this guy or girl. Skinny little mountain lion. That camera had only been out for a week, but I was in the area, so I, we checked it. No shooters? No shooters yet, though. All right, well, we're going to unlock the bikes and cruise down. We'll get some more footage uh for you guys of the ride. I'm gonna wear my chest mount on the GoPro upside down. That way I can get a different point of view and hopefully it won't be so bouncy on the uh, handlebars there. So let's give that a try. All right, we're back on the trail and we're headed down. If it's gonna be a nice hike down or a nice ride down, I should say. It's gonna be pretty smooth, mostly coasting and using the brakes. A little bit of an uphill right here. But... Fourth of July guys, we're done with our uh, morning scouting trip. Had a blast, honestly, I didn't have any plans for the fourth and I still don't have any plans for tonight, but happy fourth of July to everybody. Basically the birthday of the United States, the greatest country on planet earth. And uh, which really makes me, th you know, when I think of America, I think a lot about the American dream and uh, definitely feel like I'm living that. So I want to thank all you guys for watching our videos because you guys were able to do this. Uh, yeah, for a living, and like I said, it really feels like the dream. And now that you guys have helped us so much, we're able to provide the boy. dream job for Martin. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> but anyways, guys, just want to say happy 4th of July. Thank you for watching the video. I just want to let you guys know I love making these videos. I think it's a ton of fun doing it with Martin as well. And it's really cool to just document the whole scouting season. So when you guys come see when the hunts come, you guys at least have an idea of the hard work and all the time and effort that was put into the preseason. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all the videos. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? Later.